I'm Olivia, and today's happy nugget comes from Masashi Kishimoto, one of the greatest Japanese mangaka or manga artists. Manga is a Japanese term for comic books. Masashi Kishimoto created the manga Naruto, one of my favorite stories of all time. Naruto is a young orphaned ninja in training, often shunned and ridiculed because he behaves mischievously to get attention. He fights for recognition and dreams of becoming the Hokage, the leader of the ninja village. Naruto is a masterful story packed with riveting action, adventure, drama, and comedy, illustrating the battle between good and evil, the power of friendship, sacrifice, redemption, courage, and self-reliance. Naruto was serialized on a weekly basis for an amazing 15 years, from 1999 to 2014, for a total of 700 chapters collected into 72 book volumes. When Naruto ended, it broke my heart, because like any Naruto fan, or anyone who loves a fantastic story, I wanted it to last forever. Naruto has sold over 250 million copies worldwide, and it was made into one of the most popular animes, Naruto, and the second part, Naruto Shippuden. In an interview in 2008, Masashi Kishimoto said, It's rather awkward to talk about what makes Naruto appealing to audiences, but I think being a knucklehead gives him an appeal. Perfect heroes are cool, but no one can really empathize or identify with them. Naruto often makes blunders, and he has weaknesses. Naruto feels inferior to his peers, but he hates to be a loser. Although he doesn't think about it too much, he knows he hates to lose, and we all know what that feels like. I think readers see themselves in Naruto, and that's what appeals to them. They can empathize with him and his weaknesses. Masashi Kishimoto was born in 1974, in Okoyama, Japan. Like his hero, he was a bit of an outcast in school. He didn't excel in academics or sports, but from an early age, he was obsessed with manga. He went to art school because his dream was to become a manga artist. Kishimoto studied and copied the works of famous manga artists and animators he admired, like Akira Toriyama's famous manga, Dragon Ball, and Kasushiro Otomo's Akira. In 1995, Kishimoto earned an honorable mention in an award granted to promising rookie manga artists. After that, Kishimoto tried to develop a hit manga, drawing and writing everything from sci-fi to action to sports, but nothing succeeded. Then Kishimoto began to move towards adult-themed manga, developing baseball and mafia stories. When his editor asked him to give shonen manga one last try, the shonen genre is aimed at a young male audience. In 1997, Kishimoto developed a one-shot version of Naruto, which two years later became the hit story we love today. In an interview in 2015, speaking on failure, Masashi Kishimoto said, I don't know if I ever really got that discouraged or depressed during that time. I always had the thought in the back of my head, eh, so they rejected me this time. I know I'm going to be a mangaka someday. That's all right. I'm just going to move on. Drawing manga in Japan means producing a chapter on a weekly basis. If you read a manga like Naruto, you'll understand the incredible quality of the product, both in drawing and writing, and how difficult it would be to keep producing at that pace. Masashi Kishimoto worked even when he was sick, not going on his own honeymoon, because bringing Naruto to life was so demanding. Kishimoto has always been humble, unassuming, and a bit perplexed with the worldwide success of Naruto. He didn't set out to create one of the most successful manga in history for fame or money. He did it day in and day out, scene by scene, for 15 years for the love of his craft. When you figure out what your dream or your dreams are, dedicate yourself with all your heart and soul. 
because that's what it takes to make dreams happen. And that's today's Happy Nugget. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. As always, I link below the video, anything I recommend. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.